Lay off the protective layer that protects the printer from mechanical damage whilst transporting of it. Plug in the printer. Then turn on the printer. With the help of a screwdriver, uncover a cap that covers cartridges on a printed head. Move the carriage to the extreme left position. Put the cartridges into the printer in the way shown. Move the carriage to the starting position. Put the cartridges into the printer. Move the cartridges till you hear the clock. Move the carriage to the extreme left position. Fasten the fixation near the pointer at the printer. Then fix a pipe of ink supply. Forward the ink tanks. Fix the second clip. Move the carriage to the extreme left position, then to the extreme right position, in order to check if there is enough length for the pipe. We push a red drop, after that the printer is enabled to determine inkjet cartridges. Take off small caps from the cis. On their place, we insert air filters, not using the strength, just putting them into the holes. Turn off the printer. Check how does ink tube is fixed. To make nozzle test, we press and hold the red button and turn on the printer. On each continuous ink supply system, there is a label where you can read the main rules of CIS using. Do not let the ink level get down the red line. The continuous ink supply system should stay on the same level as printer, not lower or higher.